When it comes to combining similar data set that is available in different files, a lot of you will use VBA. But in this lesson, I'm going to show you a technique using Power Queries that is faster and better. Here we have the first file, which is France, and all the files have the same structure. It has report on the top, then it has the name, item, quantity, price, and total. So it's a sales report. And if you noticed also, in my folder, I have an Excel file that I don't want to use, and I have a text file. So let's start. We will go first to data. There is this get and transform data. If you don't have this, it means your Excel version is older than 2016, but you can use an add-in called Power Query, and then you'll have the same things. So I'm just gonna do get data from file, from folder, and I'm gonna select my folder. Here I'm gonna get all the files in the folder. So if everything was fine and there was no problem, which is rarely the case, I can combine and load the data. But obviously because I need to do some changes, I'm gonna transform the data. Here you have your files. So as we said, there are two problems that I'm facing. One, I don't want text files. And two, I don't want this don't combine. So for text files, we can go and fix the extension. So in this extension, we can click here and say text filter, and then we're gonna say contains. In contains, if you notice, my files are .xlsx. So I'm just gonna do .xls. I don't need the X, it's fine. We're just gonna do this. You can see that one file is gone. And then if you noticed here, all my files have underscore sales in it, except this one, the one I don't want. So I'm just gonna do a text filter and say contains. And then here we're gonna do underscore sales. Here we are left with the three files that we want. So we click here on this and we get a window. In this window, what Excel will tell me to do is to fix one file, and based on this file, it will try to replicate the same for other files. So I can select my first file, which is the France file, or I can select one of the other files that are there. So I'm just gonna keep the France file. Under France file, I have my data. If you noticed, I have a problem at the beginning because I have some nulls here, I have this report that is there, and then these are my column names, and then the data. At the bottom of the data, I have some nulls that I want to get rid of. And here I have some columns that I don't want. So I have some work to do. Excel Power Query is trying to do as much as it can for me. And if you noticed, we reached here before clicking the OK button, and then all the steps came. So just to go through them quickly, it has filtered hidden files. Then it has done some custom changes, which is here on the left side, and we're gonna come and fix this. This is the most important part. Then it has renamed a few columns here, remove other columns, expanded the table column one, and then change the type. So here it has just checked what is my type for each column, and it has fixed the type. And if you see in the output, I have what is the source as a column, and then I have my data. So let's go back to this custom function one and let's try to fix it. Here, if you see, I have transform sample file, which is where I have a few other steps. And this is where this function is working its magic. My advice to you is try to fix the transform instead of fixing the last output that you get. It is much better. If you see here, not much has happened. First, we got the source file, navigation, and then promoted headers, which means that this report came to the top. So what I need to do here is a few steps. First step, let's get rid of those extra columns. After total, I don't want column six onwards. So I select column six, I press shift. With the mouse, I can click, select column 10, which is the last one, right click, remove columns. Do I want to insert a step? Yes. 
Now we got rid of those columns. Next, I want to get rid of all these nulls that you see here and at the beginning. So I can come to column one and then I can filter null. And I say, okay, now we have filtered null. And the other problem that I face is this report that is on the top, I don't want it. So again, I can just unselect it or I can go to text filter and say, does not contain, I want to insert a step and I can write report. My report is gone. Next, we keep promoted headers. So the right headers are coming on top. So this is a bit of data cleaning that we did. Let's go back to my full step. We worked on invoke custom function one and we have a problem here now with change type. If you noticed, it is telling me that there is an error. Why? Because I had extra columns that I removed and then it came to change the type on those columns and it couldn't. So I'm just gonna remove it from here. I'm just gonna go to invoke custom function one. I go back to my transform and here if I click, I do control A, I can add a step which is transform detect data type. So I move this change type from the final step to the step where it's transforming each file. If I go back here, I don't have any more errors. Last thing I need to do is I don't like this France sales.xlsx. I need to get rid of this. So I can click here, I can do a transform and I can do an extract. If you see here, there is extract. We can do before delimiter. And what is my delimiter here? It is the underscore. So if I put the underscore here, I say, okay, you can see that now I have France and I want to change this source name to country. So I double click and type country. That's another step. I'm done with this. I can go and say close and load to. I can make a pivot table, existing worksheet, cell A1. And then we say, okay, we got a pivot table. So we can do, for example, country in the rows. And then we can do the name of the person in the columns, And then we can put the total. And we can just format this going to home. Now let's try to add a file to understand how this works. So I'm just going to go here. I have an extra file, which is a Germany. I'm just going to put it inside. If you open Germany, you're going to notice that there is a problem. The item column got moved in the other files. The item column was in column B. So let's see if there will be a problem. And if you see the other issue I have is I don't have report on top. So let's close this file. We want to refresh the query so we can just right click and do refresh. And as you can see, I got my data correctly. So having this report on top did not make a difference. And having the column switch did not make a difference. However, the problem will come if you have a different title. So for example, let's assume that this T was a small T. Let's save the file and let's try to right click and do refresh. You can see that it told me that I have an error because the total of the table was not found. And if you try to go to the query here and you do right click and you do refresh, you will get this same error. Why? Because of my title. Now you could, for example, add additional steps to make sure that the titles are in capital letter. This is up to you, but I just wanted to show you this error. Last thing I want to show you, let's assume that you don't want any more this table. You just want the data. So you can right click here and then you can do load to and instead you can just select table and say, okay, okay. And you get your data set. So this is how it works for combining. Please let me know in the comment section whether you feel that this methodology is better than VBA and why. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel.